to Nail Trends Now. This is where we take inspiration and turn it into a beautiful nail look. Today's inspiration is indigo blue. Now, Tracy and I take a little bit of a trip uh, down Pinterest and we look at tons of inspiration with indigo blue. We kind of get sidetracked and caught up and then we start going down the rabbit hole of inspiration. But in that path, we find some really amazing images that ultimately give Tracy some awesome inspiration and lead to her beautiful nail design. Let's check it out. Indigo blue. Looking at this board, what about that starry night, that Van Gogh? That texture, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know that painting, right? Starry night. That there... What, there's a painting called what? Who? It has a lot of texture, which I've seen you do nails that look like they have texture. Especially with a product we have at Ulta, which are the foils. That looks like a bit of netting, no? I like the mirror. I like this picture of uh, Marilyn Monroe. Well, any picture of Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe is gonna be amazing. I liked her. Are those all jeans? Is that all? Mm -hmm. God, that is crazy. So this one is really cool right here. Wow, that stained glass. Oh my God, that's insane. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is like, and it's actually spirals within spirals. Did you notice that? Look that close. Detail in this eye right here, detail. So what are you thinking? Like that, I mean, obviously that looks like it has a textured look. Yeah, with the different colors. With the different colors, Super yeah. Cool. Do you know what products you want to use? Oh, outside of the Check color? this door out. Oh. That's so cool. <laughs> sidetracked, squirrel. Well, maybe after the nails. Sorry, I get sidetracked with projects. If you'd like, you can do all the doors at Young Nails just like that. Would you like to do that? I would actually. Okay, let's I do could. It. First the nails and the door. You ready? Got it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be using Rainbow Sky Kit, a foil free kit from Ulta. The light blue that I've chosen is called Happy Disaster. And that dark, beautiful blue is called, oh no, she didn't. And these are the three items that we'll be using to create our indigo blue inspiration nails. Let's go ahead and start with our base coat. Again, if you have artificial nails, this, this step is not necessary, but if you have natural nails, you definitely want to apply a base coat. Let's get it on all of our nails. This coat will help everything to adhere really nicely. It'll give us a nice smooth surface to work on. And if you're working with those dark colors like that dark blue, it's not gonna stain the nail. All the way through. And once you have it on all 10 nails, you're ready to go into color. Okay, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my foil and get that ready. Pull this out. I think you have a lifetime supply of foil here. Look at this. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, let's cut a couple different slices off so we have it ready for when we paint. <laughs> it didn't do anything. I think I'm gonna cut like, we'll cut four. And if we don't use all four, well, we'll save it for later. Okay, and then we can put the rest away. Now that we have those, I'm gonna set them aside. We're going to start with the two that I'm going to do a solid. We're gonna use the, oh no, she didn't, and we're gonna do solid colors on this two. Get that blue on there. We're gonna get a nice amount on our brush. Push it back to our cuticle. That round brush is just gonna get around there nice and tight. Almost kind of floating it through. Gosh, that's, that's such a pretty color. It's like a, a midnight blue. Let's get it on the other nail. Keep these just plain. Really, if you wanna make a statement, you could just wear this color by itself. So pretty. Okay, so now we 
got it on those two nails. I'm going to go ahead and put a solid blue on this one, but we're going to actually foil this nail. So let's get the blue on there. Nice thin coat. The pigmentation of this color is insane. Pretty much full coverage almost in the first coat. While I'm waiting for this one to set up, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the second coat on these two nails. The second coat, like I said, the first coat almost covered everything. I like to use the second coat just to make sure that I hit all the cuticle area and my sides, that it's a nice little touch up coat. took us to do these two nails, we should be able to come back around and foil this one. So we're gonna go take one of those pieces. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the foil, we're gonna push down and pull up, and that's gonna transfer the foil to different spots of the nail. Let's grab the different colors, because there's three different colors on this foil, so I wanna make sure that I'm grabbing all of them. And I think, pink in this corner. I think that's, that's good enough. Okay, so we have our middle finger and our thumb left, and I want to bring in that lighter blue with the dark blue. I want you to take it, kind of butt it up to the cuticle. And we're just going to kind of slide it down towards the free edge. Maybe pile some on the free edge. Don't worry about the spots you miss, because you're going to take that dark blue, and you're gonna hit those areas. Just kind of running it wherever, random. Do the same thing, come through. Pull a little bit more on my brush. I'm gonna pull it through. So hit a little corner up here. that light blue towards the free edge and we are done it looks like a hot mess we're gonna grab our foils and get them ready but we're gonna give this a second to set up usually it's about a minute to two minutes max depending on the room temperature okay we're gonna take that foil again and we're just going to hit different spots picking it up motion it down that cuticle area, making sure I'm grabbing the different colors. Let's grab some pink right there at the cuticle. I'm gonna take my other piece of foil and do the same thing. Now here's a hint, sometimes if you didn't wait long enough, some of the polish will come up, but if you just push right back down, it'll cover with foil. Okay, and finally, we're ready for our top coat. I'm gonna actually do the two solid colors first. The reason I like to do the solids first is if any of the foil comes off while I'm top coating it, and then I go to a solid nail, I'll see some foil bits in it. This way, I can do the solids. I know I'm not gonna have that problem. And then after I do the foils, I can clean my brush off. And we are done. Great set of nails, awesome look. I love going from the inspo to the look. And again, all these products are available at your local Ulta. We'll see you next time on Nail Trends Now.